This is ABC 15 News taking action. Relief tonight for students and parents at one school in the Far East Valley after a big scare. It is video no parent ever wants to see. Police with guns drawn running toward campus. A lockdown lifted just a short time ago at Apache Junction High School. That's near Southern and Ironwood in Pinal County. ABC 15 first time scene for you. Complete coverage including the mad dash parents made to that area. Let's start with Nicole Valdez live outside the school. Nicole. Steve, absolutely an emotional couple of hours out here. We were standing outside the school watching families just on the verge of tears, praying that they would see their kids again. Most of them had no idea what was really going on inside, but just looking at the amount of police out here, they were certain that their kids were in serious danger. It's terrifying. Crystal Wagner stayed on the phone with her daughter for more than 30 minutes, listening to her whisper in terror. What's, what's going on in there? Right now, there's start like we don't know what's going on, but Elena just told them something. Told her to stay down and be quiet and stay calm. Their two oldest huddled down inside Apache Junction High School after police say 911 dispatchers heard a teen call for help. Someone may have said the word help, uh, so it was one of those things that, you know, background noise. Uh, the dispatchers heard that and thought, you know, there's a potential there. Wagner shaking as she watched officers with guns at their side outside her kids' school as others went room to room looking for a gunman. But after almost an hour, police found nothing. There is no injuries that we know of and no shooting that we know of. So rather than characterize it a prank call, it's an unfounded call. Finally, Wagner reunited with her kids. You know, it's my firstborn, my, my baby. It was just like a really happy moment. Everybody was okay. Not just mine, but everybody. Now we do have an update on the potential charges that caller could face. Apache Junction Police telling us again, these are serious charges, but not just for the caller. Anyone in the background that they heard actually screaming help could also face possibly felony charges here. Live in Apache Junction, I'm Nicole Valdez, ABC 15, Arizona. I think about it. any of us can imagine what that's like, uh, getting oh. that email about a police situation at your school. Yeah, our team coverage continues. ABC 15's John Genovese is live near the school. And John, you've been talking to parents all afternoon after the news broke. Yeah, and one parent describing that email as cryptic, letting them know police were searching the school for a potential threat, then hundreds of them rushing out here, waiting alongside officers for updates. Police cars swarming the school, parents swarming the perimeter. It's a lot. We start crying right away. The minutes ticking by as hundreds were waiting for updates. I tried calling the school numerous times. I've called the Apache Junction Police Department and I couldn't get any information. So I left work and came straight here. Christy Bellotti still shaken even after hearing everyone was OK. My daughter in there is my baby. She's the youngest one. She's the only one that's at home. And you just never think that this would happen to your children's school. She texted me and said that the school's on lockdown. I came up here. Reginald Garnett waiting for his daughter, too, at the Walgreens across the street. I was frantic. First of all, you know, I never expect that to happen here. Finally, the lockdown lifted, the campus clearing out, and the reunions that couldn't come too soon. Happy. <laughs> Excited. It's good. It's good. As long as I know she's OK, everything's good. Yeah. We, uh, Got a long way to go. You can see there are a lot of emotions swirling throughout all of this. And trust me when I say when that lockdown was lifted, you could almost feel the universal sigh of relief. Faye? Boy, any parent knows exactly what those folks are going through right now. Thank you very much. And you can count on ABC 15 to stay on top of any new developments in this story. We have confirmed the district has canceled tonight's basketball game between Apache Junction High School and Tempe High School. Our live reports will continue tonight at 6 o'clock. And 